the last presentation we completed the more state machines and uh, now we are going to do the milli state machines or milli circuit if you remember i told you the main difference between these two types of model or these two types of circuit is the way the output is generated okay and in case of more state machines the output was the function of only the present state whereas if i talk about the milli state machine the output is the function of present state as well as the input so this is a very important point to remember and uh, i also explained you this block diagrams in which the first one is my next state decoder depending upon this logic the next state is decided and there is a input let's say this input is a we are giving this a to this next state combinational logic and uh, the output of this combinational logic will decide the next state and uh, this is my memory block and uh, the present state is uh, stored here this whole block diagram is for the more state machine and uh, you can see the output let's say output is y is uh, the function of the present state only to make it mealy state machine i need this output as the function of the present state and also the function of the input it which means a so there is a small change to make it the mealy state machine i will take this input from here and uh, i will give it to this output combinational logic now you can see the output is the function of the present state as well as the input so this is a mealy state machine now we will see one example related to the mealy state machine i will take the same example as the last one and i will do a small change to convert it to the mealy and let me paste it down we will drag it to the bottom of the board so that we can analyze it peacefully okay and uh, this is the same example you can see from the previous lecture and uh, the change that i'm going to make in this circuit is to make this output y the function of a so i will take this a from here like this and i will give it to this or gate now you can see that the y is what q b complement this is q b complement and q a is the another input so or q a or a now this output is the function of the input and also it is function of the value stored in the flip flop so we can say that it is the melee state machine or melee circuit so once you have the idea about the mealy and the moore state machine basically the difference between them it's not a big deal to do this things you can easily get by looking to the circuit diagram and also by looking to the state diagram that whether it is a mealy state machine and whether it is a moore state machine and uh, there are some questions in which it is especially specified that we have to consider it as the mealy or we have to consider it as the moore that's why it is an important topic before actually going further to solve the problems related to the state diagram that's why i completed it here in the coming presentation we will do the analysis using the jk flip flop d flip flop and t flip flop then we will see the sequence detector or pattern detector so these all topics are very important and uh, carries a good weightage if you are preparing for any exam there is one more point that i want to tell you is the implementation of a logic function needs more number of states than mealy circuit in case of moore circuit okay so i can also say it as the implementation of the same logic function requires less number of states than the moore circuit so in mealy in mealy the number of states are less as compared to the moore circuit if we are implementing the same logic so this is what i want to tell you and uh, i will end this lecture here see you in the next one